So let me move on to the t value. Um, so I mean, I think that in the elementary statistics course, you may uh, have learned about uh, p value. Uh, in, th in this section, we are gonna talk about uh, formally uh, about the, the p value. So th there are two ways of the reporting result of hypothesis testing. The first one is The first way is to report excuse me the report on the size or the level alpha of the test used and decision to reject H0 or accept H0. So we set the size or level or alpha of the test and then we use this alpha uh, to make a decision to reject the H0 or accept H0 based on the test statistic. So, If alpha is small, the, the decision to reject H chip is fairly convincing, which means that we would like to highly likely uh, reject the um, H chip. If alpha is large, the decision of reject H0 is not very convincing uh, because the test has a large probability that we make an incorrect decision. So you can uh, remember that alpha is the, uh, the, um, so, so the probability that the, we reject the H0. And then if large, alpha is large, then um, uh, our type 1 error uh, is increasing so if so it means that we, high, we are high, if alpha is large, we are highly likely to make a, uh, an error uh, I mean make an incorrect decision um, so we have this method then there are issues of this method
So the choice of alpha is very subjective. So for example, people usually choose alpha is equal to 0.05, but you may choose a 0.01 or 0.10. So you can choose uh, uh, various levels of, of the alpha. And if alpha changes, then our, uh, our decision would also change. Um, so that's the one problem. The second issue is the final answer does not show the strength of decision. So, for the me method uh, I mentioned, so we report the size or, or level alpha of the test and when and we make a decision. And here there is a decision, but we don't know the magnitude of the decision. So, is it the strong rejection or weak decision, which means that is there a strong evidence to reject H0 or the, there, uh, is there a weak out, uh, uh, evidence of reject H0? Or is there a weak, uh, I mean, weak or strong uh, evidence of the accept the H0? So here, the weak, uh, in, the, in the method we have done does not uh, Delivered information about the, the magnitude of the reject or accept. And then in practice, uh, And in practice, the people often combine this with the reporting the p-value of the test. So people uh, use a test statistic with the p-value. Then what is the p-value?
the p value, the px, is a test statistic satisfying uh, the, the px is greater or equal to 0 or less, and less than or equal to 1 for every sample point. So p value is a test statistic based on the sample, and then it's between um, uh, 0 and 1. So it has a boundary, so it is very convenient uh, uh, to express the magnitude by using the p-value. So the, the smaller p-values of the px are uh, yeah. smaller, sorry, smaller the values of px gives evidence that uh, h1 is true And the smaller p-value gives the stronger evidence of rejecting H0. Um, you will see um, why this makes sense uh, and just later when I uh, introduce the formal definition of the p-value. And then So p value is valid if uh, every uh, data is in the omega zero, uh, and uh, when when uh, omega zero is is the um, the parameter space under the null hypothesis, and every alpha is between zero and one, probability that data p x tilde and p x uh, tilde is less than or equal to alpha is less than or equal to alpha. Um, 
because uh, it is valid because When we construct the test uh, uh, to reject the H0, if and only if the p value is less than or equal or equal to alpha, So the suprema of uh, probability that rejects H0 uh, is suprema of the probability that the Px uh, less than equal to alpha under theta is in the omega 0. And then uh, we know uh, we, uh, we know that the Px is less than or equal to uh, uh, alpha than the, this one this premium is, is less than or equal to alpha. So this this test is so this test is a level or size alpha test. So since a p, a p value uh, setting the p-value uh, satisfies the uh, conditions uh, for size or level alpha test. Um, so, th th so uh, it is uh, uh, valid. So now let's look at the advantage of using p-value. So the, each reader can choose his her own alpha and construct a level alpha test based on the p-value. Um, so p 
people can construct the every alpha test based on the p-value. Uh, so we reject HL if and only if uh, p is p-value is less than or equal to alpha. So that's the uh, level alpha test uh, based on the p-value. So uh, it's very convenient. And then. So uh, by using the p-value, we report the uh, number, and so the p is uh, between 0 and 1, so it is a continuous scale. Um, so we are giving more flexibility on reporting. So uh, based on uh, result based on test statistic only uh, reports the uh, result H0 or not, and then we cannot see how strong or the weak evidence is. Uh, however, if we use the p-value, uh, if p-value is, is very close to zero, then we can see that it, there is a strong evidence to reject the H0. And if the p-value is very close to one, then there is a strong evidence not to reject the H0. So it gives a uh, more flexibility on the reporting. 